A crime crackdown in the Fresno area resulted in the arrest of 126 people. The operation targeted gang members who were the most violent and causing the most trouble. Local and federal law enforcement officers partnered in an operation called Triple Beam to disrupt the drug dealing and gun violence that goes along with gangs. Action News reporter Santaya Rose is here with more on what officers found during one traffic stop. Santaya? Well, Margo, close to 60 officers from several different agencies worked this detail. One man they pulled over had a ghost gun with him. Those guns are untraceable and assembled at home without a serial number. While a football game between the McLean Highlanders and Yosemite Badgers was going on last month in central Fresno, outside the stadium, officers who target gangs made a notable traffic stop. They encountered a member of a criminal street gang who was in possession of what we refer to as a ghost gun. That firearm has no serial numbers, cannot be tracked. The firearm is actually ordered in pieces off of the internet. Officers say the gun was in the possession of Matthew Henderson, a validated gang member. The weapon was one of 61 taken over the past three months in Operation Triple Beam. Tuesday, officers displayed the wide-ranging gun assortment taken during the enforcement. From July through September, officers used technology, informants, and various partnering agencies to temporarily disrupt gang crime. We focus on the most violent, the most active, and the most influential gang members in our community. We target those individuals for the purpose of removing them from our society. A handful of the gang members arrested will be prosecuted by the federal government, and agencies are working to keep them locked up while they're going through the court system. These aren't guys who are on probation for jaywalking. I mean, these are, these are serious criminals, and so that means that there's going to be a concerted effort by our group to, to go after them and then to keep them in custody. Some of those arrested had warrants for crimes like homicide. Others had weapons offenses. Some were also caught with drugs on them. And during the operation, officers also recovered $13,000 in cash. Some of the drugs they took as evidence include marijuana, cocaine, meth, and heroin. In the studio, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.